Hey guys, I do, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go over checking your Microsoft Office 365 health, why it's important, and what settings you could do on there. What can you touch? What can you look at when it comes to dealing with checking your health of your status of your email server, making sure everything's intact, there's no weird issues going on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to go over this real quick. It shouldn't be a long video. Uh, pretty straightforward, straight to the point. So let me share my screen. Screen three. So this is our Office 365 portal. Again, I'm logged into I'm logged into ex the Exchange Admin Center. Um, today we're going to focus primarily on this section, which is called Health. Um, and then here you can see you could pin it. You could put it as a pin if you want to. So I just I I put this as a pin. And then if you want to go somewhere else, you can. Okay, we just go to reports, for example. All right, so we're going to go to add to health. So here's your, here's our health section. And this is if you want to report an issue, you can to my, to Microsoft. So like I said, this will be more mostly about health and reporting issues. If you have some weird issues, this is where you would actually put yes. Um, you will put what what services are you having issues with? Uh, which application compatibility issues with application applications are crashing, and you said you submit a ticket. So I thought you submit a ticket with with Microsoft Help Desk support team. I have a few tickets open myself right now with Microsoft Defender team. Um, and then here is all the way to the right. If you go all the way to the left, use use uses me may intermittently be unable to update or cancel calendar. So you, you can click on this and this gives you more information. And then if you wanna manage this notification, you could click on it and you could actually, you could actually put this email in here. We send email details. If you're already set up an email notification service, you're already getting status updates for this issue with, with this service. Now, if I wanna customize this, there's a lot of different things. So. Uh, I'm going to customize, I'll show you how to customize in a second, but this is where your service status portal right here. You see that it says exchange admin number, it says two, it says two here, which is really strange. A minor service issue with, with limited impact. So it says your users may be, may intermittently be unable to update or cancel calendar items in, in Outlook desktop client. Some users' email email messages may be rejected as potential spam due to poor IP address reputation or not delivered. Um, and we have another one over here. So it's like they're having a few issues today. Impact only occurs if Mac users is present and unmuted in presentation. So users may hear an echo if, if embedded audio is enabled when using PowerPoint Live and new Microsoft Teams, okay? Affected 365 apps, suite, teams. Um, are you experiencing this year? You can report it as well, actually, here. Show full history. You can scroll down on what, what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So that's another one. Um, it's this one as well. There's three different ones here. Some admins may encounter delays from various Microsoft Office 365 admin center reports. You just may hear echo, enable audio. Uh, admins unable to ask specific series for people with insights field in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And so there's a SharePoint one too, actually. Some users may be unable to access or receive results when accessing some SharePoint online lists. Users user SharePoint online content short res search results may be missing or may disappear when pages load. And these are healthy, healthy, healthy. All these are healthy. Defender is healthy. Defenders, Defender for Cloud is healthy. XDR is healthy. Office 365 for Web is healthy. So this is what you check. And then if you ever want to customize this, right? You just click Customize. It's right there. You can uncheck services that you don't want. You can go to email and actually add more stuff here. So if you want, send email notification for service help. Primary email address is Kevin at KevTechSupport.com. Uh, also, you could include advisories and incidents as well, if you like. And uh, you could put another email address. So then not only I get email addresses here, I could put my my Kevin Pointer 63 Gmail address as well. Uh, I'm going to save it. 
since the changes may take up to eight hours for it to take effect, which is fine. And here's your issue history. And these are issues that they had in the past. Again, it's the same thing. Reported issues. So this is issues reported by people in your organization over the last 30 days. And then you could download the report. Same thing again, you cut same same section again. And then here on the bottom is Windows Release Health. And you hit view. And it says Photos app may fail to start with block non-admin user install is enabled. So this is an update from June 18. Uh, you go to all versions again. You can click on view history. And it gives you more information about certain updates and certain things that are not working properly. This is a known issues that are confirmed. Um, and here's the message center. Please refresh this page if you to see the relevance of your organization. So it says the error message endpoint will soon feature an enhanced file menu, more effective file renaming. Um, when when this will so these are like features that these are features that they're going to implement. This one's starting in October 2024. How would this affect your organization? Uh, blah, blah, blah. So this is like things that they're, these are things that they are working on right now as a feature. This one says admin impact, this one says feature. Um, so that stuff is there. There are a bunch of other ones as well for teams, et cetera, et cetera. And then this is your product feedback. You give you can give a feedback for something that you don't that you want to talk about. User, this is specifically for user experience. And then this is a survey. You can actually set up a survey as well. And then it's your network connectivity. There's any network connectivity with, with anything going on in your network. Right now it says network assessment is 95%, 96%. Um, you can Assessment history seems like it's okay. These are insights that you want to get more information. There's nothing there right now. Locations, there's nothing there right now. Network traffic, there's nothing there right now. So I don't have anything set up. VPN and proxy history, nothing there. And then these are threats and antiviruses. There should be nothing here because I don't have anything set up. And this is software updates. And it says here more details for security. It found four security vulnerabilities on my end for some reason. Uh, it says four vulnerabilities, one device for vulnerabilities. View the Microsoft release notes and known vulnerabilities. Yeah, Windows. Yep, and then that's it. Uh, it's just one device for vulnerabilities. You can view it. It's just fine. I'm not gonna mess with that. Yeah, and that's it. That's that's it for uh, service health. I'll stop sharing. So that's it for service health. You can customize it to what you want to get alerted for. I mean, it's important to know this stuff, by the way, because maybe maybe you're a system admin and you have access to everything, and you don't want to get alerted. You don't want to get alerted for everything. You just want to get alerted for specific things pertaining to Office three sixty five, which is why it's important that you understand how this works and how to set up alerts, et cetera, et cetera, because. Just in case, maybe they maybe your your maybe your company they they have an outage or something. So you want to make sure you're able to access this stuff. All right. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Later.